Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan for those of you joining for the first time today. Guys, I just want to make a quick video before the weekend kicks off and just to tell you guys to have fun, go out there, spend some time with friends and family, do whatever it is that you enjoy doing on the weekends and just on your time off. Hopefully you get time off this weekend, guys. Um, if you are new, like and share and subscribe to the channel so you can get some more motivation coming into AMC if that is something that you need, right? There's been a lot of a lot of need, I think, for motivation uh, all around when it comes to AMC. And while we are still on the path going forward to reaching MOAS, which I still feel is coming, my mind is not changed on that. It doesn't matter how many of you people on Facebook or I'm sorry, on YouTube tell me I'm wrong. I don't care. What I do care about is that I wanted to clarify that in my last video on Wednesday, I had talked about, you know, buying on the way up versus buying on the way down. And I thought it was implied that it would take more than like one person to buy. Okay. And I was wrong about that. Apparently I need to be more clear on some of these blanket statements that I make and just not, not just assume that you guys all know what I'm talking about, or even just understand what it is that I'm meaning. Um, it will obviously take more than one person buying a handful of shares to be able to move the stock in any direction. So I, I will try to be more clear when I'm saying things like that about what exactly I mean and, and a more detailed explanation about it, because I don't want to give misinformation. I'm not trying to give misinformation. I just assumed that there, I assume that the information would be like, I guess just just known and that was a, that was my bad on my part so I will I will own that one and I will do better in the future for that. Guys, right now uh look it up on Fintel it shows that short interest is 11.53%. Um if we go to um Stonko Tracker, let's see what Stonko Tracker is showing as far as um shares on available to borrow going into the weekend. So guys, they some shares got returned at least from Wednesday. So I, when I checked on Wednesday, it was at 5 million. It's now at 6.1 million. So there are more shares available to borrow for next week. Um, guys, going into close right now, it's about 15 minute before market close. And we're sitting right underneath the $7 mark like I thought was going to happen, right? I said that the other day, like right now it's at $6.92. Um, I thought that this was going to happen because Max Payne is $7, so they want it to sit right underneath that so that they can make as much money off you as they can. So be careful when you're doing call options. It's not something for everybody. Um, be careful. I think that there are some of those call options that are, you know, that are being placed are probably like long dated call options that you can use to make it look like you have shares to be able to short them later. Um, look that up if you don't understand it. I'm not going to go into that today. Um, Guys, there's just, there's a lot that I think is out there in the social media world about AMC and why, you know, people feel like it's not going anywhere. Again, I've, I'm going to, I'm not going to stop saying this. I'm not going to stop. I don't care how many times I say it. It doesn't make sense, right? When, when fundamentals are looking really good in the company and they're only continuing to look better where in the world does it make sense that the price is going to continue to drop like it is right we know that it's because of manipulation we know that they are manipulating the stock and allowing it to continue to fall okay it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense you guys i know you all know that now spread that word out there and get more people to understand it also and it might not do anything, but what it will do is it will help the people in the in the play continue. If you're just here to talk trash, great. I welcome you. I will probably respond to my comment section with either nothing or I'm going to give you some smart aleck remark back because I get it all the time. And that's only because I know that you're just trying to stir the pot, right? And I don't care. If you're going to comment on my, on my post and you have genuine questions, I will honestly answer the questions to the best of my ability. And with what I view as my opinion about whatever it is that you have questions about. So feel free to ask me questions. Feel free to talk to me in the comments. I don't, I want you, I want to engage. I want this to be a community again. There was a, this was a large community of just everybody on the same page before. There has been a lot of things that happened that caused the, that caused this like 
divergence of like of retail investors or apes. And I don't understand why, because I don't think that it's a large amount of people. I don't, I honestly don't think that there's a large amount of people out there that are against what we're doing. Right. I think that it's, it's a, like I've said before, the people who are against it are a lot louder than the people who are for it. Now, is that because you're ashamed of it and you might have friends that are in the stock market and you don't want them to know that, oh, I'm still invested in AMC because of what mainstream media is saying about it or because of what these shills and, and people spreading FUD are saying about it? I don't know. And that's, that's up to you to understand. All I'm trying to say is that there's a lot of us here and there's a lot of us ready to help those of you who need help with motivation stay motivated right like that's my purpose here that's my point of what i'm doing this for so i will always try to be there to help you guys if you're if you're feeling down and out about what's going on i don't believe for a second that this play is dead i i will continue to go down that route i will continue to say it and there's nothing that anybody could say to change my mind um guys it's coming okay it's coming it's coming it's coming it might not be this year, right? We only got three weeks left in this year, but it's coming. I'm here to wait with you because I know you're all waiting with me, right? Nothing has changed from the beginning of the play. The shorts haven't closed their positions. We are continuing to buy and hold. When I said also, when I said in my last video that maybe you should just hold I wasn't talking about forever, right? Like I'm not talking about forever. I don't think that that is a sustainable thing. It's not smart. Like we want to continue to buy all the shares that we can, right? For those of you who watch my videos enough, you know that that's what I mean. You know that I you know that I talk about buying and holding all the time. Buying, 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 right? So keep that in mind. Keep in mind that when I said that, what I really meant was is like, hey, maybe if a, if enough retail investors and I mean it would take a lot to just not buy for a day and just hold, don't do anything with AMC for a day. What would we be able to see in, in the order books and whatnot that they're per, that they're really showing this manipulation that, that they've been doing for a long time? Guys, all I'm going to continue to say is stay positive, stay motivated, stay motivating. I will continue to be here for you and I will see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye.